Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and this is part two of our Blender Exporter and PV3D XML Importer. Now, it is really easy to get this installed and running in Blender. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and unzip my exporter primitive that's giving in the blog post, which is basically on my Google code. And once you uh, unzip it, you want to put it in the right place. And pretty much in Blender, I have some directions here in the blog of what you ought to follow, but pretty much it's in the Foundations Blender, Blender Scripts. And once you just put that uh, XML exporter right in the Blender Scripts, the Python, it's ready to work in Blender. So let me now show you how to quickly get those uh, XML exporter and XML primitive uh, programs installed. First of all, just go ahead and just grab, after unzipping the file you get off of Google Code, uh, grab the XML export, copy it. And just open up the uh, scripts directory of your Blender. So uh, the uh, basically Blender Foundation, Blender uh, dot Blender dot scripts, and pretty much just paste that code right in that folder with the other um, Python scripts. And once it's in there, when you open up Blender, it'll show right up in the menu. We're going to show you how that works. Next thing you need to do is come along here and just grab the uh, XML primitives uh, code, copy that. Open up Flex. Go to your uh, PaperVision org folder, PaperVision, Objects, Primitives, and just paste that right in there. And now you're ready to go. You're ready to use uh, Blender Export and the Blender and the PaperVision XML primitive. So now let's go ahead and show you what you get when you make a primitive in Blender. So I'm in Blender right now. I'm going to get rid of the standard cube and just build something real quick. So I'll delete that. Okay, let's hit this space bar and we're going to bring out a cylinder. And we'll, hit, okay, we'll change the sides to uh, actually 8. There we go. And you can hit Alt and rotate around take a look at your uh, cylinder. And pretty much ready to go. We're going to export this and see what we get. So all you have to do to export is we go up to File, and we go to Export, and what will appear in the Export menu is the XML exporter. So if you actually put that in the, so if you put that Python script in the right place in the scripts folder in Blender, then it'll automatically show up in the menu. And when you click on that, you're ready to start exporting. There you go. So the one important thing here, as a little remember here, you can't read it all here, but remember to triangulate. And I didn't triangulate my object. So if you don't triangulate your object, basically you're going to have a bunch of triangular holes in your object. So you don't want that. So let's go back and triangulate. So we're going to exit this exporter. Here's my object right here. And all I have to do in edit mode is hit control T. And when I do that, I just triangulate. Let's rotate that and zoom in just a little bit. Look at that. See those triangles right there? And uh, now that that's done, I'm ready to export. So I'll hit that exporter again, and I'll export to uh, XML. So export. Export to XML. And now I need just to give it a name. So I'll go test cylinder. And I need to choose here. So there's only one option here. We're going to put some more options here as this uh, proceeds forward. But right now, you got to click on that option and click here to export. And so if you're familiar with uh, Dennis's uh, AS3 export, it runs just the same way. And we're going to put this on the desktop just so we can grab it real quick and take a look at it. And it's called Test Cylinder. And just hit the export button right over here. And just like Dennis's uh, application, go down to hit export again. And it says export was successful. Let's go ahead and take a look at that XML and see what we got. I'll go ahead and open that up in Dreamweaver. So here's my exported code in XML and opened up in Dreamweaver. And you can see basically I have vertices and I have faces. It's a real dumb exporter. It's just going to give me those vertices and faces and basically the textures. If I've textured it, the UV coordinates and allow me to build that primitive. And that's really what it's designed to do is to build a primitive uh, for uh, paper vision. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Now you can see everything is comma separated. So I had to create basically a uh, split statement in my XML primitive to split out those and put those in the individual array segments, which are brought in as vertices and pushed into faces. So that's pretty much all there is to the code. Hey, let's watch it run. 
So to get that to run in Flex, basically I have a basic primitive uh, widget demo here. I'm just going to drop that XML right into my SRC folder. So let's paste it in there. And there's my test cylinder right there. I'm going to copy that name since I'm terrible at uh, spelling. And then I'm just going to open up my uh, the Flex widget program that I created in the Flex. And pretty much this is an ActionScript project, so it runs both in Flex and Flash. And if you go to the downloads that I gave, they are both Flex and Flash uh, applications that I gave you. So I'm going to come along here to my particular um, statement that I'm looking for. Here we go. And this is this initiate scene. And I have examples where I actually used a JPEG from a bitmap file material or I actually used a color. In this particular example I use something called paper to a color material so you can actually give this a color and so let's go ahead and give it a, a red color which would be FF and then I want to reference that particular um, XML file so I'll put my XML file that we created just a few moments ago in Blender and so it's just the same thing, the same methodology as you use when you're working with regular primitives. So this pretty much follows the paper vision philosophy as I've seen that before. So it's following the same structure and you're done and all you have to do is run this and let's see if we cross our fingers and hope that we get a rotating uh, cylinder. We'll see real quick. And lo and behold, there's my red rotating cylinder. Now you can go along and put a texture in this just as we've shown you in the blog. Uh, so there you have it. I mean, we're getting ready to use this bad boy. So thanks for listening. Let me just show you one more thing before I close. So you might be going, heck, Mike, that's pretty cool, but I don't know how to use Blender. Well, just go to my blog, uh, which is at uh, Professional Paper Vision, professionalpapervision.wordpress.com, and click on 3D Modeling. And we walk you through the steps, basically, how to model in 3ds Max, how to model in Blender, okay? And also, in the particular post I'm talking about, let me go back home. There are two links given to you that shows you how basically the UV map to texture in uh, part one and part two in Blender and then with this tutorial how to bring you those textures into paper vision as a primitive okay and that's all there is to it if I go back to that code one more thing I want to show you at the very bottom you can see I called it my cylinder that's what I was rotating I can yaw it I can roll it I can do anything to it just like a regular primitive well this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University thanks so much for listening